Assalamu alaikum guys, this is me Rabia Malik once again with a new topic for you and this could be very helpful for you and the thing which we are going to learn today is quite uh, interesting like ways to say I don't know. Most of the time it's happening we are using the same expression for the same occasions or maybe questions are different but something we don't want to answer sometimes and we don't know the reason actually, we don't know the appropriate answer. We have seen sentence in statement all the time which is I don't know so today we are learning some ways to stop saying I don't know and instead of it we can have other statements and other expressions to use so first of all we have an expression I have no idea or I have no idea like if somebody is asking you do you know where is Sam today I have no idea where is he now. He hasn't called me or he hasn't texted me before coming in. So I can say I have no idea instead of saying I don't know. Number two, I have no clue means you don't know something and you cannot calculate that. Do I know it or not? So that's why you can use this statement. I have no clue means you have really no idea. Because it's a, Actually, clue is a replacement of idea. So instead of no idea, you can also say, I have no clue. Next thing. Somebody is asking you, do you know what teacher hasn't come today? How should I know? Means, is that my thing that I should know that why teacher hasn't come today? So how should I know? It means I'm not that appropriate person to answer you your question. So if you have no concern with the matter and you have no relevancy with the matter, you cannot answer that, why is this thing happening? So you can say, how should I know? Means I'm not an appropriate person to answer your question. Next, if you are really exhausted and you really don't want to answer something, so you can simply say, it's quite, let me just tell you, it is informal, please. And why to say that if you are talking with your teacher and somebody is longer than you, maybe in your office. So, don't ask me. You are so much exhausted, you don't want to answer anything, then you can say the expression, don't ask me please, I'm just exhausted, I'm not going to answer this time. Because you ask me all the time the same expression. So with the friends, maybe with your classmates, maybe with your siblings, you can use this expression. Last but not the least, not as far as I know. Mostly, when you answer the question, I don't know. Mostly, when you know the reason why is this thing happening. And this time, only for this time, you don't know. So, don't say, I don't know. Say the word, not as far as I know. Means, not yet I know. For this specific time, I don't know. Maybe later, maybe after you asking me, I get my chance and I know the reason is. So, you can use, not as far as I know. So, where what we have learned, we have learned. Ways to say, I don't know how to re replace this statement. You can replace this with, I have no idea. I have no clue. How should I know? Don't ask me, but do remember, it's an informal one. And not as far as I know. Hopefully you have learned many things with it. Inshallah, I'll see you next time with the new things. Till then, take care. Allah Hafiz.